Your state is doing better than most on gas. Your average is 4.59 a gallon, but I do know that it's up 40 cents in just the last week in Oklahoma. What do you make of Secretary Energy Secretary Granham? You know, it's super disappointing for us here in Oklahoma. If you think about this, Stuart, since 1973, every president of the United States, whether Republican or Democrat, they had an energy independence policy. In other words, let's meet the needs of Americans with our own resources until this administration. And they choke off supply and then they wonder why the price of the pump goes up. So again, they need to immediately allow states like Oklahoma to drill. They need to immediately open up federal permitting. They need to be immediately stop this nonsense on pipeline development. And we're doing it fantastic in Oklahoma. There's, there's resources here. We should meet our own needs instead of buying oil from Russia. But it just you, makes no sense it, for but, average Oklahomans. But will they ever do it? Will they ever say, yeah, let's drill? Let's frack. Let's get out there and go for the energy which is ours under our own. You know, you don't believe that they'll ever actually do it, do you? I, I really don't. And that's what's so disappointing for us. And, and what I like people to know about Oklahoma, everybody thinks we're just oil and gas. We're actually number two in wind energy yeah. production. We have some of the cleanest water and cleanest air in the country, yet we're the pipeline capital of the world. Uh, we're number six in oil, number four in natural gas. And we're one of only four states that 40% of our energy comes from renewables. So we can do it. We can have an all of the above approach in America. But to close your eyes and to say that we're not driving to school or driving to work or we, we need to fill up our cars and heat our homes and our businesses and we want to buy from our enemies, it just makes no sense to the average American. And this party is out of touch with the reality and they're costing every, they're, they're making everything cost more money, which is hurting Oklahoma families and American families across the country. I've got one minute for the big announcement. Oklahoma has secured America's first rare earth metal and manufacturing facility. Can Oklahoma supply what China now supplies us? Yeah, well, we're, we're very excited about this. It's, it's a huge deal for Oklahoma. People, are, manufacturers are realizing that Oklahoma is the spot to be in right now. So it's a $100 million investment, high paying jobs, but you touched on it. The biggest, ish, the biggest uh, point for this is it's pulling supply out of China. They control 90% of the mineral uh, to magnet manufacturing, and that's a national security issue. So Oklahoma is solving that. These magnets go into F-35s, they go into our submarines, and right now we're reliant on China. Well, Oklahoma okay. took the lead, and we have the first manufacturing facility in the United States located in Stillwater, Oklahoma. That's the good news of the day. Kevin Stitt, Oklahoma governor. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.